It's another day here at the national headquarters of the NDC. It's still the filing of nominations uh, for the flag bearer aspirants here. Today we expected to see uh, a former finance minister, Dr. Kwabena Dufo, and he's expected to arrive here in some few minutes time. You can see a lot of supporters who have come all the way from uh, other regions, particularly the Ashanti region, and they have come here to support the uh, former finance minister. And we also have uh, a tight security presence here, who are also here to ensure that law and order is maintained. And so we'll just get in there to just speak to some of his supporters to find out what uh, they are here to do. Basically, we know we, they are here to support him and why they think that Dr. Kwabna should be voted for. An economist to handle our, our economy Economy, manage it well for everybody to be comfortable. If not, I'm leaving for Togo. Dr. Kwabna Dufo just arrived and with his entourage, uh, heavy security presence uh, solidly behind him and the number of supporters also here cheering him up. Uh, he's yet to file his nomination. I want to uh, signal that on our part we will do everything possible to keep a very level playing field in order to allow for the best to emerge. Former Member of Parliament for Ablikuma South constituency, that is Fritz Bafour. I've just spotted him and he has been endorsing the candidature of uh, Dr. Kwabna Dufo. You, you seem to be throwing your support. Sir. Yeah, I am throwing my support. Right, right. You don't see me in this. But Ghana is in um, economic malaise. Our country is reeling from serious economic problems. And so you are looking for someone who's been there before, who knows the technicalities of running a country's economy. And I'm now behind Dr. Kwabna Dufo a schoolmate of mine, a friend of mine, for over 60 years. So, therefore, it's a no Do you, do you think that he stands the chance of winning at all? Of course, otherwise I wouldn't be here. We're going to work very, very hard to ensure that his uh, aspirations are met. How do you feel? Hmm? How do you feel? Oh, oh, fine. Having all these number of people coming to support you. I'm happy to see the black man. Jesus, we treat our head, isn't it? Sure, we are coming. All right. So d that was Dr. Kwabuna Dufogi. But who would also get what exactly he wants to tell his uh, support base, what he wants to tell delegates ahead of the elections on May 13. The submission of forms, it means we are ready to start the battle. Hello? Roots, but the power belongs to you. The power is yours. Therefore, take it and use it and vote properly. The economy is coming back. Ghana is coming back. We are going to restore hope and national pride. 2024, we are going to kick the elephant into the bush. Elephant or TV? Or TV? Or back home? I think it's been a wonderful experience for me as a person and also a party that is in opposition. Where, because of the economy, everybody is so laid back and is crying and weeping. But they came, and you can see that it was the most exciting ceremony. It's over. The next step is for the presidential aspirants to be vetted. And after the vetting, whoever qualifies, their names will appear on the ballot paper for 13th May. We've been informed by the elections committee that from next week, uh, the vetting for the flag bearer aspirants who have filed their nominations will begin.
reporting for City News from the national headquarters of the National Democratic Congress. My name is Zakusna Otrik.